Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new tutorial. I was busy these days, so I haven't had a chance to upload any tutorials. But here we are. So in this video, we are going to continue our Blocks Fruit tutorial. So let's dive into the video. Pause. Before the video starts, I need to thanks to my Patreon members. These are absolute legends. And of course, if you want to help with the channel and the video making process, please consider joining my Patreon. Alright. With that being said, let's get into the video. So, today we are creating a fruit shop system. For this video, we are just going to create the shop GUI and some NPC for the shop. So to start, we can add a new dummy and call it Shop. You can put it anywhere you want and name it anything you want to. Next, create a new part and position in front of the NPC and transparent it. Now add a new screen GUI inside Starter Guy. You can name it whatever you want. After that, create new frame inside the GUI. The same goes to that name. It anything, then make it black so it's more clear. and then add a text label inside the frame. Make the, the background transparent, then make the text fit to its size, just turn on text scaled option. After that, you can change the text to like shop and stuff. Next, create a scrolling frame inside the frame you just made. Name it whatever you want. After that, Create another frame inside the scrolling frame and make it wide. Then add a UI grid layout inside the scrolling frame to organize the layout.
Now, create an image label inside the slot frame we just made. Set the background color to gray. If you'd like, you can leave the image ID property empty so you can see the background. Next, copy the title text and make it thinner, then place it inside the slot frame as our item name text. After that, duplicate the item name text and remove the bold style. Move it down a bit and we'll use it as our description box for item details. Then, create a text button for the view button. Set the background color to green and make the text dark green so it stands out. You can also make the text bold if you want. Now, let's create a new frame for our item information frame and set its background to gray. Resize it like this. Select both the main frame and the info frame and center them. After that, copy the image label we created earlier and place it at the top of the info frame, leaving some space for text. Now, 
Next, create a text label for the item name text inside the info frame. Then, make two more text labels to display the item prices. Set one to green and the other to yellow, or any color you prefer, and position them lower like this. And finally, copy the view button we created and paste it into the info frame. Then, make one yellow and the other green just like before and move them down to the bottom of the frame. After that, we've finished creating the shop frame for our game. That's it for this video. Make sure to leave a like if you learned something new, and make sure to check out my Patreon if you would like to support me, and get these project files, I will see you soon. Until then, see ya.